Do 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 do. Zelda, were you ever gonna kiss me? Well, excuse me, Prince. Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> anyway, hello everyone. This is Nostalgia Gamer here. Well, actually, I'm not the Nostalgia Gamer. I'm just you know, a Star Wars fan, aka Nostalgia Gamer. For the, that's the section. So, so anyone confused about that? Sorry about that. Anyway, so. Okay, let's talk about more about games. Oh, of course. My, one of my favorite consoles in the 90s, the PlayStation. So, so I'm going to give her my Nostalgia Gamers Top 5. Okay, this one's called the Top 5 2 Sequences. What that means is these are the Top 5 that has a 2 on it from the PlayStation. So, just so you know, these are my personal picks. If your game's not in it, well, that's okay though. But you can comment below or you know discuss about it if you want to. But don't worry, these games, you guys will like this. And just so you know, these are the must-haves for the PlayStation. So, let's start. Alright, number five. Oh. There, that's better. Alright. Twists of L2. Wow. Let me tell you, folks. That is now this is a great sequel. Especially if it's not only the graphics, but gameplay there. And also, you can play Minion. I wanted to play Minion from the first game, but they won't let me. So guess what? Now I can play Minion in this one. That is awesome. Especially you can face all this and with uh, backgrounds from all over the world. Oh, man. I played the crap out of this game. This is why they sh to continue to make Twisted Metal good games. But, uh, alas. Anyway, what's more? All right, number four. Hey, what's a skateboarding game? One of my favorites in the series, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Uh, this is actually a, a definitely an improvement from the first game, which actually the first game was pretty good too. Yep, you play all these professional skateboarders, including Spider-Man. Wow, really? A Spider-Man riding a skateboard? Hey, does that remind you of the Amazing Spider-Man? Yes, it does. That's kind of weird. Anyway, yeah, not only you get go through so many levels, you can have your own, um, make your own uh, dream park. Also, you can build your own skater. Um, you can do a lot of things on this one, and also you got a great soundtrack too. If you if you want to play old school PlayStation, oh, get this. This is definitely a must have. All right, number three. All right, let's do a mask. One, the uh, three mascots of PlayStation. Oh, actually, I think they have like four. My mistake. Anyway, the very first mascot of PlayStation is, of course, Crash. Well, Crash Bandicoot One is still a nice game, but it still needs something. It needs more expansive. It needs more something. So, so they decided to make a sequel, and they call it Crash Bandicoot Two: Cortex Strikes Back. This one, actually, this one is one of my favorites. Because not only you can ride the jetpack, you can do the scooter, you can do a lot of things. You can even ride um, polar bear as well. Yeah, and also a good thing is you can go through every level you want to go to if you're missing a box and you want to get some stuff like that. Um, they let you choose which level you want to do, and then you can, you know, just come back to them. Pretty much just like Super Mario 64 kind of, kind of way, which is awesome too. Oh yeah, this is a great game. I highly recommend you get this game. Number two. Hey, look. A two. Two, two. See? Two. Okay. Anyway. Ooh, one of my favorite racing games. And let me tell you, this is a great improvement. And you get lots and lots of cars. I'll say around over 500. This is Gran Turismo 2. Pretty much this, um, similar to the first game. You got one um, disc for arcade mode and one disc for simulation mode. Simulation mode is you do a lot of racing, you earn credits, you earn parts and stuff like that. On the arcade, um, actually the thing is, let's see, if you race a lot of things for simulation mode, you unlock cars on the arcade mode, so that way you can it's like, oh right, so you can race any cool cars you like that. Oh, one of my favorites, the Dodge Viper GTS. Come on, you got to ride the Viper. Uh, the Viper GTS. That's one of my favorite uh, cars there. Let me tell you, this one is a great sequel. And I highly recommend you get this game too. Alright. There will be no honorable mentions in this one since there's not very many twos. So, anyway, let's go up to number one. We're back to Resident Evil 2. 
as I mentioned earlier on my other video, this is the de definitive of sequels. Not only is it surpassed from the first game, but it does a lot more too. You go through a police, uh, go through a police station. Um, you face spiders. You face um, smaller creatures, even a moby, uh, um, amoeba or something like that, and it changed to a weird creature. Boy, ugh. And also, you face a, a guy who got mutated into the G virus. Ugh, scary. Definitely, this is a great game. And great replay value, especially you can ha have to play both discs back and forth to get the full story of each character. Awesome stuff. And that was number one pick right there. Well, I think that's it for the video. If you like this some more, follow any of these and subscribe below. And y'all have a good night.